this is Brian from Provision Studios and today I'm making a, um, a real quick video on how to figure out what frequencies your uh, analog console might have on your digital audio workstation by using a pair of plugins from Waves. They are called the Waves Q Capture and the Waves Q Clone. And how you set that up um, uh, is uh, by using an aux and an audio track inside of your DAW. The, uh, the console I'm going to be using this setup on today is the uh, Soundcraft Signature Series console. I have the 22 multi-track version, but it doesn't matter what, what version of the this, of this Soundcraft console you have or the version or, or what, what type of analog console you have. As long as you have the ability to connect it to your sound card. Um, with the reason I'm using the Signature Series uh, by Soundcraft in my studio is because it's a hybrid console. It records both, uh, well, not records, it is both an analog, and analog console and a digital uh, audio interface built into one uh, desk. So, um, Let's jump into uh, Pro Tools, uh, where, so I can show you how to set your uh, set this up. So um, first, you're going to create an aux track, and uh, the, the the key with this is you want to have the input of the aux track be your return off of the console. So in the uh, the Soundcraft Signature Series console there is a print return. So that is what I'm gonna choose as my input. And then as the output of that aux track, you're gonna to wanna to have it be the input of your console, uh, whatever channel it is that you are monitoring your EQ on. So in this case, I'm using analog channel one. And then this is, the uh, the track that you're going to put the Q capture plug in because we are capturing the EQ signal back from the console so that's that there and then the next uh, track we're going to create a um, an, um, an audio track on your audio track you are going to put the um, the Q clone plug in on here and the input is going to be analog one. So, um, and, or whatever ch channel on your analog console that you want to monitor your EQ. So, and again, in this case, I'm using channel one. And we have Q clone there. And what this is going to do is this is going to take that, um, uh, the signal that you're running through it, as you adjust your EQ, you're, you're sending that EQ tr signal into your aux track and the Q capture is then capturing that uh, signal through the plugin to be able to measure what the frequency is. So um, let me uh, turn the bypass off on the Q capture. So the first thing you want to do once you are uh, seeing your receiving and transmitting is going is you want to match your your input and output here so we've got 14 uh, negative 14 db is where we're at and that's pretty good um if you have it set up improperly let's say i have this here you will see no signal here and waiting uh, for your input that is letting you know that you do not have the uh, the aux track set up properly to run the Q capture uh, plug-in for this this purpose so again I will go back to my print and then I hit that my signal returns so I'm getting my receiving I'm getting my transmitting and we can see our signal is right here on our aux track so um, now I'm going to enable the Q clone 
when you have your cl your Q clone uh, track or plugin enabled uh, and you put it on, you're first you're going to see in its native uh, state the hold button is on. You're going to want to change this. Oh, also, it'll probably be on 30 dB. I like to go to my 16 dB scale because that brings us closer towards what we're looking at. Uh, when you uh, want to start measuring uh, your EQ off of your console, you're going to select Capture. Now, what we're doing now is we are looking at our EQ on our console. Also, I want to bring another point in. It doesn't have to be a console that you're doing. This could be any form of um, analog EQ that you have in your studio. Uh, so... Uh, I just, I, I'm measuring the uh, Soundcraft uh, 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 Sapphire EQ because that's what I was asked to do uh, by uh, someone on my YouTube channel. Anyway, um, I'm going to go over to the console now and I'm going to show you guys uh, as I make changes to my EQ on the console, what's going to happen to the Q clone plugin that uh, we are in the capture mode, what it does there. So let's go over to the console real quick. All right, guys, here we are on the Soundcraft Signature Console. And I'm going to be on channel one right here. So we're going to look at the um, at the high mid uh, band. And I am going to take my EQ and put it at the, the lowest setting, which is 400 hertz. And I'm going to turn my volume up or my gain up a little bit so I can see how it reacts on the Q clone. And right there we can see as I turn up my gain that the level increases on the Q clone. And as I go to each notch on the frequency, it is also changing on the Q, the Q clone plugin. So I keep going up on the on the console, and the frequency continues to climb on the Q clone. So there we are. That's how you are able to measure any type of EQ. If like on the on the Soundcraft uh, signature series consoles. You don't. You, you get notches, and then you get certain points on the on your on your bandwidth that tells you what the frequency is. And then as you go between those two numbers, you're not really sure what frequency you're adjusting. Well, with the Q clone, you can um, get a little bit more information there to help you de de determine what those frequencies actually are. All right. If I go to my low mid band, and I turn my level up there. I can start sweeping and seeing what frequencies they are. Again, I'm just going up incrementally, trying to hit each notch just to get a measure of what they are. There you go. Now when I'm done, I can just reset the console to whatever I need it to be. And that's it. That is basically how you can take any type of analog EQ, whether it's on a console or it is a, a, just a piece of outboard gear you have in your studio and be able to measure what the, um, the you know, the, the different steps are in your EQ. Like for example, on the Soundcraft Signature Series consoles. Um, a good thing to do here, if you are using outboard gear that you only have one of, is you can use the Q clone and the Q capture plugins to capture a certain EQ curve that you like on your console or your EQ unit and replicate that over multiple tracks. Um, that is the actual functionality of the Q Capture and Q Clone plugins by Waves. 
I'm using it here just to determine what my, my frequencies were on uh, my uh, low mid and high mid bands. So um, if you have any questions about what I showed here, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You're always uh, welcome to email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have any videos you would like to see me make uh, with anything here in the studio, you can leave those uh, also in the comment section. Um, and then uh, I will um, keep reading the comments and I'll keep trying to you know, respond as quickly as I can and um, keep making videos that hopefully helps you guys advance your skills in the studio. All right. Until the next video, I hope you guys stay well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye now.